So if you're Michael Jackson, you just use MJ and But if they can feel and if they get scared, you will receive a kick, okay? I know you two have experience, but go left foot in the stirrup. Oh, yeah. How do you say it? It's called Chilindrina. Okay? Chilindrina. Chilindrina. What's okay, it's a stirrup. How is it? Chilindrinas? Chilindrina. Chilindrina. Christina time. Get what is it called? It's forcing a uh, bark, butterscotch. What I said at the beginning, but I was telling them that you could that. Okay, guys. So there are many stories and legends about how the canopies were made. Being slow or fast is making an erosion to the rock, making the rock even weaker. And it gets into a point that the rock will collapse. When these sinkholes are made and the underwaters are exposed, we call it cenotes. I learned and wanted to be military chief. The other one was smarter and kinder, so he wanted to be a shaman. You know, this Princess Nikteha came to town and both of them fell in love with her. So they start fighting. And in one of those fights, both died and went to Shivalvi. They don't, don't get with the appearances. And it's part of the paradox of the story. The one that was stronger, violent, now is skinny. And the other one that's kinder, not that strong, now looks stronger, but it looks dangerous. Mm -hmm. Makes things easier for us, because if we get a rush, it's easier to spot the red one. What happened to Nick Teja? What happened? The princess? She found a new tree. She found a millionaire living in Miami. Tragic story. <laughs> <laughs> and the gods were also mad at them because that wasn't allowed for the Mayans. So they also punished her and brought her back as a beautiful white flower that blossomed on top of the cenotes. Not all the cenotes, but some of them. And they say, maybe you know the flower, it's the lotus, it's like the flower of the water. And you can find the three of them all around the cenotes together for life. Beautiful story. That sad is it. And beautiful. Sad and beautiful, yes. Uh -huh. Guys, do you remember the name of your horse? Julia. Julia? Cinnamon? Chilindrin. <laughs> what? It's, a good, it's just it's chili. A it's not. It's not. What is it? Chilindrina. Chilindrina. But we call her chili. Okay. We call her and chili. I call her chili. Uh -huh. Yours? Macarena. Perfect, guys. Yeah. I won't sacrifice you because you know the name of your horse. <laughs> Fall with this helmet on. There's another fork called tomato. Tomato has one of the cowboys. My great. Kicked it. My granny, I can handle that. There's one here in the top jumping. Oh, yeah, I see the trees. 
It's up there. He's sleeping. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. <laughs> you like it? It's yeah. really sweet, right? It's yeah. really good. <laughs> Yeah, but they just didn't stay with it, they were just like... No, they're like biting us. They're like biting us. Here, the manager brought us some candies. It's peanut with roast. <laughs> Let's find a good spot to jump off. <laughs> All right, guys, that's the whole horse ride. Really appreciate y'all coming with us. Hopefully, all wow, that footage came out really good. Really appreciate the, the guides' eco tour is amazing. And uh, swam in the cenote, saw monkeys, saw true Mexican ranch. That ranch was beautiful and had a really nice fan. And really enjoyed our horses too. Had nice they're horses. They're rescues. Yeah, they're all rescues. Bonanza Ranch, come see it. Yeah, come check it out. It's dope. This is our last day in Mexico. Last full day we fly out tomorrow. So this is our last little adventure. Let's see what else we can get into. Got something else planned for us?